I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, and I'd like to welcome you to this particular tutorial primarily designed for CCNA security certification candidates, but even if you're not working on this certification, it is a very good idea to know how to run Auto Secure from the command line. Now, Auto Secure is a relatively new security feature where basically you're putting your router into lockdown. And this may be too drastic for some routers. It's not something you want to rush into work and do uh, to every single one of your routers, but it's a good idea to know about Auto Secure and what it does for your exams and the real world. The first trick with Auto Secure is launching it correctly. And here we're working with it at the command line. And the reason I mention that is that if you type auto secure in as one word, it's not going to work. If you type in auto secure as a hyphenated word, it's not going to work. If you type it in as two words, auto secure, it will launch. We have two modes of auto secure, interactive and non-interactive. And by default, it's going to go into interactive mode, which is what we're in right now. You'll notice that I put auto secure, two words, then hit enter and it did go into interactive mode. Control C, just like with setup mode, is our abort combination for this particular application. So I'm going to use that now because I want to go back out to iOS help and show you the options here. And as I mentioned, if you just hit enter at this point, carriage return, you're going to go into interactive mode. The word full also launches an interactive full session of auto secure. No interact. This is the non-interactive session of auto secure. And we'll look at that in a future video. Uh, it's very fast because basically what happens is Cisco takes its best practices and applies them to your router, the best security practices. So if you want to just accept those best practices, that's fine. But what many network admins prefer to do is use the interactive mode. Now, a couple of things to note here that you don't see in setup mode for a router. Notice it says here, auto secure configuration enhances the security of the router, but it will not make the router absolutely secure from all security attacks. So, little disclaimer there on Cisco's part, certainly nothing wrong with that because we need to be aware that while auto secure plugs a lot of holes, it does not make your router invulnerable. Also, all the configuration done as part of auto secure will be shown here. For more details of why and how this configuration is useful and any possible side effects, please refer to Cisco documentation of auto secure. I really hate possible side effects. So just something to be aware of there. You do want to do your reading here with Cisco documentation before you ever consider running auto secure in a production network. We'll go ahead and answer a few questions here and then we'll take a look at what happens if we do indeed go with that control C keystroke. And again, as we know, whenever we're presented with a single option in brackets in Cisco, that is the default answer. So I could just hit enter here and it's going to say no. And quite a bit of uh, scrolling there, right? Let's go back and take a look at some of the things that were done by default. Is this router connected to the internet? Well, look at all of these services that were disabled. There are a couple of enabled in there in the middle, and those of you preparing for the CCNA security exam should be very familiar with what's being turned off and turned on by Auto Secure. Finger, pad, UDP and TCP small servers, CDP, bootp, HTTP server, source routing and gratuitous ARP have all been disabled. And you can see what's been enabled, TCP keep alives, both in and outbound, and password encryption. They've all been turned on. And the interesting thing is you've got to enter a banner here. And you can see here's a sample security banner to be shown at every access to device. Modify it to suit your enterprise requirements. So if you want to do a cut and paste and try to edit a banner, that large, uh, go right ahead. I always like this. This system is the property of so-and-so enterprise. Definitely want to change that part of it if you do copy and paste it. We're going to enter a security banner and we're just going to say, okay, keep out 
and that's it. So we're going to now be prompted for enable secret and it's either not configured or is the same as the enable password so it's going to ask me to enter one and I'll do just that. And I entered CCNA. Note that the password is too short. One of the default security policies put on a router by AutoSecure and also by SDM's one-step lockdown application is that the passwords have to be at least six characters long. Important default to keep in mind. At least we got a message telling us what the problem was. So if I put in a longer password here, I'm fine. It's going to ask me to confirm it. Now it's going to ask for an enable password. If you're trying to make it the same thing, you're going to get a message that says, hey, you can't do that. So I'll put something else in. And now it's going to go into login attack protection. Let's say at this point you just decide, hey, I need to do this later. I want to go read some documentation. I want to do something else, and I want to get out of this. This part is the same as setup mode in that you just hit Control-C, and it's going to give you a little message, device not secured against whatever part you were in, and it's going to go back to the prompt. So to launch auto secure again, you simply type auto space secure, remember that part. And again, the default is interactive mode, which we just looked at. And non-interactive, let's take a quick look at that. It's no interact. And as you can see, <laughs> we're not exactly being prompted for a lot of things here. A lot of information scrolling by. I'll just keep scrolling. Don't try to read all this. You'll hurt yourself. And we will finally get to the bottom of this sometime. And there we go. And you can see it's already applying the config to the running config. And some of what we see it was the same. Uh, the service is being disabled, that kind of thing. But you'll notice some logging in there as well. The security authentication secu and uh, timestamps being enabled. All kinds of things being, being enabled by non-interactive mode. So for your exams, you should know about both of those. In the real world, you're likely going to use interactive mode more often than not, but that's really up to the individual and up to the network. Hope you've enjoyed this look at Auto Secure. I invite you to come out to the website, www.thevariantadvantage.com. You can go straight to the tutorials page if you so choose. I've got over 250 free Cisco tutorials out there for you including videos just like this one, practice exams, fully illustrated tutorials, all kinds of great stuff, and a new video page where you can see all my free Cisco training videos in one place. Thanks for watching the video. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, and I'll see you at the website.